Hey beauties, my name is Jazz and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I feel like you're sitting there wondering if this is the puppy that Pam and Martin were fighting. <laughs> but no, it's just the wig we're about to revamp. To start off, I'm going to be giving this wig sort of a bleach bath. As you can see, I'm using my Joyco Blonde Life Powder and I'm going to be using a 40 developer. So if you don't know what a bleach bath is, basically it's a process to lift the hair without the harshness of actually just applying the bleach straight to the hair. The way I do my bleach baths is with the lightening powder, the developer, and shampoo. I like to use shampoo because um, it protects the quality of the hair. I usually use a clarifying shampoo. You're going to see my shampoo in just a second. Um, it's not a clarifying shampoo. I couldn't find the clean Tresemme that I usually use, but as long as it's, it's uh, as long as it is a white or clear shampoo, then you should be good to go. You don't want to use a color shampoo because that's going to deposit color onto the hair and we're trying to get the color off. So I was trying to be like frugal because I didn't have a whole bottle of <laughs> lightener left. Um, this is going to end up not being enough as you'll see in a few minutes and I'm going to mix another bowl. But right now I'm just taking what I have and I'm just running it through the hair trying to saturate all of the hair. Clearly it's not enough lightener so that's why I ended up adding the hot water to kind of dilute it a little bit and help me spread the lightener around. If I was trying to really get this wig like to a, a light light brown or a blonde um i wouldn't have done it this way but i've colored this wig before and i didn't want to over process it by lightening it again this wig the first time i colored it was a bright bright red i liked the red but the problem was i used um like a door or kiss or something like that i can't remember which one um, and every time I wet it to get the curls going, it would, um, you know, get the red all over me, all over my clothes, all over my hands. So I wanted to get all of that color off and then deposit a permanent color back on. So this is that second batch that I'm mixing up because remember I told you I didn't have enough. So I'm just going to pour that on. Um, it still just has the lightener, the developer, and the shampoo in it. And I'm going to work that into this hair as good as I possibly can. And then I'm just going to lay some foil over it and um, just leave it. I watched this like a halt because like I said, I've already colored it or lifted it before. I didn't want to over process it. I have melted some wigs before messing around with bleach and I would have been sad if this wig melted. Here I'm just kind of rinsing off the closure because um, I don't, like I said, I didn't want the hair to melt. So I'm just gonna add the foil and let this sit. I checked it about every five minutes and I think I ended up rinsing this out after 10. So here I am, I'm back to rinse off the wig. I feel like a good amount of that red came off. Um, you can't even really see how red it was on camera, it seems like, but um, it was like a dark maroon color and now you can see that it's, it's just brown and that's how I wanted it to be. I got nervous because the ends were looking a little scraggly after this process, but I ended up um, using silicone mix. It's, that's a wonderful conditioner. If you color wigs, you should definitely get some. I ended up just letting it sit in the silicone mix overnight in a plastic bag. And then I rinsed it out and let it dry. And the ends were kind of good as new, but it really didn't matter to me because I knew I was gonna be doing some cutting to this wig as well. So here's the wig after it air dried and I'm just fluffing it out so you can see the color and like I said it just turned to light brown but that's fine because the color that we're going to be using is actually a high lift color and I'm going to use it with a 40 developer. And here it is, it's the L'Oreal high color highlights and oop, I lied, I used 30 developer <laughs> and um, I'm just going to mix those up. 
I used the red and the red hot. This was the back. I did the back off camera because I knew I didn't have enough to finish and I was gonna have to finish the next day. I thought that it turned out kind of dark. So when I proceeded to the top half, I only used a little bit of the red hot, which was the darker color, and the rest I just did all red. So it could be a little bit more vibrant. I wanted it to be super vibrant, but I didn't want to end up looking like Ronald McDonald. So I just went ahead with the red. I figured if it was too bright, I could go back and tone it down. But I didn't want to, you know, do it too dark because that's harder work to make something lighter. And I've already done that. So um, I went with the red. I ended up liking how it turned out. And I only proceeded with like a quarter of a tube of that red hot just to tone it down a little bit. So in the back, I'm not gonna hold you. I just slap the color on. I do make sure that, you know, all of the hair is saturated and covered, but you don't have to take too much care when you're putting the hair, I'm sorry, putting the color on when it's just tracks, when you're in the back of the, um, in the back of the wig. But when you get up to your closure or your frontal, that's when you really wanna take your time, take smaller sections to make sure that you're not staining your legs. So now I've worked my way up to the closure. As I mentioned before, I'm switching over to very small sections. And when I'm up by the roots, I'm being very, very careful to not get any of the red dye on the lace. Um, I probably couldn't get it off, but it would be hell, especially with red. So um, it's easier to just try not to make any mistakes than to go back and fix them. So just be extra, extra careful when you're applying color on lace. I see a lot, you can even use a comb. I see some people use a comb. I've tried that, it doesn't work the best for me. Um, but yeah, be careful with color near your lace. I'm sitting here as I'm editing this video looking at my mannequin head like dang this girl is beat up um I'm gonna get a new one soon y'all hang in there with me once I got all of the color on um I kind of clipped up the hair and put it all into a grocery bag I basically put a grocery bag over this mannequin head like a shower cap with the hair inside and I set it underneath the dryer for about 20 minutes to help process the color so i didn't know if this video was getting too long so i figured i would put the install in my next video so haha -ha, you gotta come back and watch if you want to see how i wand curled it and installed this wig and as always thank you for watching please tell a friend to subscribe to my channel i'm almost to a thousand subscribers thank you to everyone who has subscribed already i really really appreciate it and thank you guys so much for watching like and comment